this is something I was not thinking would happen in a long time. I thought surely the Boy Scouts would be the last to go. Judgment Day is upon us, folks. I was thinking it probably happened somewhere around the next election, but I don't know. Things are moving really, really fast. A lot of prophecies are coming to bear. Of course, you know, God is does time means not much to him, so it still could be a couple of years, but man. What happened today? All of America's youth. Well, not, you know, it doesn't say, but they represent all of America. When they do that, they turn a nation. They just turn their back on God. Read the Boy Scout oath. The very, the, I mean, it, it, somebody's bound to have been in the Boy Scouts here. On my honor, I will do my best. To do my duty to God and my country. The very first thing in there was to God. To Yahweh. Very first duty. Boom. Turn their back on him. In one vote, a nation has turned its back on God. Man. As, as uh, I read in the Bible, whoa, whoa, the wrath that's coming on this country is going to be bad, bad. And you deserve it. America, you deserve it. You're fixing to get what you wanted, and I don't think you're going to like it. The exact same thing happened in Isaiah. In the Bible, y'all claim to read your Bibles. I don't think you do. I think what you do is you go to church and you listen to what somebody else that is politically correct tells you what you want to hear. Because if you actually read your Bible, you wouldn't... This it. I don't know. I don't know what can be done about this except in the Boy Scouts. I watched the news and there was this little old woman. Go, she's crying for her son. Oh, now my son gets to be gay. Oh, it's so happy. He gets to be gay. I get to destroy a whole country. Yes. You know, Jesus is up there crying for your son right now. He weeps. And he's weeping for all the other children because he knows what the Father is going to bestow upon the rest of us for allowing this to happen. There's a few of us out there that understand what's fixing to happen. And when it comes, they're, they're going to deny it. Oh, we'll build it back stronger. We'll build it back. Oh, it's the United States. No. Our government took an oath when our country was founded. There was an oath given when this country was founded, and this country has turned their back. Our country has turned, the whole country has turned their back on what George Washington and the founding people took an oath. They prayed after George Washington's inaugural. One nation under God that's only written on the dollar bill now. The churches have allowed this to happen. They made it, oh, let's be politically correct about it. Let's not make the gays mad. Instead of calling them an abomination and a festering cyst that needs to be popped. No. It's okay. Let's love our brothers. You know what? We'll cover a little portion of this being okay, uh, where it's saying it's okay tomorrow in Revelations in the Bible study. But I'll leave that up to that. There's a little, little taste of this in there where, uh, where he speaks to the church that allows this to happen. Ooh. I've been reading up on Revelations 
first cha- few chapters because I got to read tomorrow. That's right. Oh, that's the Bible study tomorrow. But uh, I've been reading real close on that. Whoa. Well, y'all preppers out there, of course, the non-believers will just laugh at us, but the true preppers have this book already in there anyway. So, y'all, you know, keep your powder dry, keep your beans warm, <laughs> uh, make sure you everything's set up, keep your, you know, keep on keeping on because the tribulations, especially for us here in America, are about to begin. <laughs> 